Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got it! This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tulip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers! It's the marine iguanas! Funny running into you here! Yeah, imagine that! Piggy, Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was angry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on the, this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. <coughs> Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home, just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. I'm <laughs> so! Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. They chuck so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh. Until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, I well, say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Oh, 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 sorry, Finally, a room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponger scope, please. <laughs> All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> tickle. Having a look in... No... See anything yet, Peso? Aha! 
<laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh no, no way. I'm a whale louse. I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on. Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> We have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Yeah! Oh no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. It's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso, I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate tickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got you! <laughs> hey, hey! Whoa, you guys! <laughs> now that was a good laugh! Phew! Shellington to Captain Barnacles! Come in, Shellington! How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine! Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale! <gasps> Swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry, the baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure <laughs> rock. A rock? Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gap's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Booster, booster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. 
Well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning, you must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now, don't chomp my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to a little hole in the sand. Leo? Peso? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to blood! Huh? But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. <laughs> okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Sure, Papa. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale. Their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. 
Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain! Peso, you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the tickles! <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp. So we don't uh, float away. Uh, uh, still no sign of any urchins. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me, I thought you were... Oh, urchins! Oh no, that's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to! Shellington, come in Shellington, your kelp strand is loose! Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Lappity flippers! Captain! Come in, Captain! The urchins are coming! The urchins are coming! Lots of them! Uh, quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the Gup A! <laughs> Urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tulip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, in two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy, we need all the help we can get. Uh, fast! There they are, matey! And I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa! One down, a lot more to go. Yeah, sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got your right when I want you. Actually, it looks like I've got you. 
I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shot. <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a. <gasps> take a shot. Wait. I'm not really a tiger shark. I. Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wild one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. You can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there! The third hammerhead! And he's stuck! <laughs> We're the Octonauts! We're here to help! <laughs> he's really stuck! We'd better call for backup! There, the last one! Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain! We're on our way! <laughs> come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me? Peso, Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This does me feel too good. Some slippery pointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one.